Welcome to our section, how to solve absolute value equations. In this video, we're going to learn how to do a question like this one, or how to solve for x in an equation like this one, or something like this. Let's start. Let's say that I have absolute value of 2x minus 5 equals to 9. Well, first you need to do a good twin and what I call a bad twin. What does that mean? You need to set them up by doing 2x minus 5, which is whatever is inside the absolute value, equals to 9. And then 2x minus 5 equals to negative 9. This is the good twin and this is the bad twin. So once you get this, you're going to go ahead and just solve for x. Well, let's do it. Well, on the first side, I'm going to go ahead and pass the 5 to the other side. So I get 2x equals 9 plus 5, 2x equals 14. And then I divide by 2 and I get that x equals to 14 divided by 2, which is equals to 7. Now I can go ahead and do it to the other side. 2x minus 5 equals negative 9. I pass the 5 to the other side. I get that 2x equals negative 9 plus 5 which is negative 4. I divide both sides by 2 and I get that x is equal to negative 2. Here you can go ahead and plug them and you see you're going to get the same answer. 2 times 7 is equal to 14. 14 minus 5 is equal to 9. But remember we're doing the absolute value of 9. Absolute value of 9 is equal to 9. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and do the 2. 2 times negative 2, remember, what I'm just doing here, I'm just replacing the x, is equals to negative 4. Negative 4 minus 9 gives me how much? It gives me negative 9. However, the absolute value of negative 9 is equals to 9. Bingo! Both the solutions work. So always go ahead and check them because they're very easy and it's just, you know, extra points for the test. Now, let's do the second one. Here I have a little bit more to worry about. So I'm going to go ahead and clean it. I cannot do the twins until this is all clean up. So I pass the 6 to this size, which is negative 6, and I do 9 minus 6 equals to 3. Now, many of you may be tempted to distribute this 3 here. I cannot do that. This is an absolute value and is like a shield, it's protected. So when you have something like this, in order to get rid of the 3, which is being multiplied here, you just divide both sides by 3, and you will get that this gets rid of this guy, and 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. Bingo. Now I have absolute value of x minus 9 equals 1. Now we can go ahead and do the twins. I do the positive 1. I think I got the wrong one. <laughs> there we go. I do the positive 1, which is x minus 9 equals to 1. And then I do the negative 1. x minus 9 equals to negative 1. Now I have my two answers, x equals 10 and x equals 8. If you plug 10 here, what do you get? Well, remember, 10 minus 9 is 1. Absolute value of 1 is 1. So 3 times 1 is 3. 3 plus 6 is 9. Perfect. If I do 8, I'm going to have the same. 8 minus 9 is actually negative 1. But what happens? The absolute value of negative 1 is going to be equals to 1. So I do 3 times 1 plus 6 is equals to 9. So both sides work. And I can go ahead and move on. Finally, we have the last one, which is... Absolute value of x minus 6 minus 5 equals to negative 6. Now I need to clean it. So I'm going to get x minus 6, absolute value of x minus 6, right? But when I pass the 5 to the other side, I'm going to get negative 6 and then plus 5. Now, negative 6 plus 5 is equals to negative 1. Ah, and I have something weird here. Absolute value of x minus 6 equals to negative 1. When you have something like this, you need to be very careful. See, everything is in the absolute value yet. I have not do the twins, and I can't do them. 
Because look, there's no value of x that will ever, ever make this absolute value into a negative number. So when you have something like this, there is no solution or actually it's just not possible. So be very careful because this is where, uh, where students make mistakes. So always remember, clean it out. If before doing the twins you get a negative one or a negative value, it's basically no solution. I hope you enjoyed this video and again, thanks so much.